Hi, I'm David Dusek, a senior writer with Golf Week, GolfWeek.com, and USA Today Sports, and I'm here at the Titles Performance Institute. And I've got Bob Vokey right over here. And Bob, you just laid down a great quote to me to sound sort of like Harry Potter. The wedge chooses the player, not the wand chooses the wizard, but the wedge chooses the player. We're gonna go through a little bit of a wedge grind fitting with me out here at CPI. How often do you do things like this with players on the PGA Tour or elite amateurs that you sometimes get to work with, Bob? Well, I'll work, work with tour players, but a, fun, a little different thing with tour players. They all can strike the ball very well. Oh, so, and they, and they know <laughs> they know the shots that they may be- They know what they're trying to do. They're trying to do, and that helps helps you. And then you can take it in, whether you turn each, what each grind they want, yep. or maybe they a little tweak. You may take it inside and take a little off the heel. All right, so like we're blind fitting. So this yes. might be good, this might not be good, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna try and go to that back pin over there, which yep. we zapped off to be about 40 yards. 40 this yards. is a little bit of a, a little bit of 40. tricky shot. So let's, let's see how we do here. Look at you. But if you can use the bounce, that, even like this, you got. Well, that one was pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel pretty good about that. So I'm not looking. I don't know what that yeah. that sole configuration was, but, but that one I got to hope know. is going to be in contention. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're going to put that there. Don't okay. Go. Then we'll give you another, another little option. Something else here. I have no yeah. idea which one this is. There's six different wedge bounce configurations right in the SM9 yep. lineup. And this, right. is, this is the fun part. It seems to be going up a little uh, higher. A little higher, a little higher, because it has, Stopped. what it has is playing a little bit to you. I'm not looking. It has a low bounce, but has a very narrow sole. All right, and so do we have one more you want me yeah, to try? Do you think you found the, the wand that fits the wizard here, yep. such as the wizard is? Okay. Yeah, the operator is, is definitely getting warmed up. Well, I like that. And that one seemed to check up the quickest, it too. It did, it did like it, and that's, that's, so as I say, shot-wise. Look at that ball go up in the air. Okay, now we'll take around. Okay. And you for that particular shot, it's going up and let's see, it's going to make a little, little difference here. Okay. Take, take it over to the black pin. Okay, so I'm going to go now over you got to, here. Oh, we're going over a little bit of a right. bunker. So you want to get the loft this where you need that loft. So this one I'm going to have to stop with trajectory because yep. mm -hmm. I can't bring this one in low. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. See? Ooh, you we're putting. It, you hit it a little thin, and look, you still got away with it. We're putting, all I'll right. Give you one more. All right. So keep track of these so that we can do yep. the reveals here at the end. I want to make sure that I know what I've got here. Nice. Like, that's what I like. Say, so well, the pin. I certainly that's have the distance that's on that like one pin high. The pin. <laughs> all right, so do some revealing. What was I okay. hitting and what was happening there? Okay, the last one that you hit right now is what I call the S grind. Okay. It was very, very straight. It was a good trajectory, but I found it dug a wee bit okay. on you. Who is Eskrine ideally suited for? Like when you, when you, what is a classic Eskrine player? Eskrine player is player. He's got, I would call him a mid, mid. I call him a digger. Okay. Then I call a slider. He'd be somewhere in between. Okay. I call him a tweener. You know? From, from that, course type, like we've got relatively yeah, soft, soft turf, turf going on here. Eskrine's good for somebody who's yeah. on soft turf? That's another thing, but it's, it's close to be cut, but it's still soft. Okay. So can you, you can use bounce here. I, okay. I would probably recommend you a little bit more bounce, but I'm going to throw a little curve at you, what I'd like oh, to gosh, see. Oh gosh, here we go. Sometimes. Got this 56. Okay, a 56. 56. I want you to try to hit that same shot that you do, but this 56 is getting a little more versatility. You can take it in lower. And okay. Just sing it out now. Trailing edge. Hands back. Open it up a wee bit. That's the idea. Get over. That's the idea. All right. Well, yeah. we're over that bunker at least. Just trying to do, show you a little something wow. that, that you can do. Okay. And it's you were hitting that 60 before. Now this one, believe is it this, or not, is this how much you want? It's a 56. This is a 56, 56, and it's getting up that high. Getting up high as you need it. It's my little story, as I told you earlier, I, I, the sand. Look at that. Off to the right, but the the trajectory was Perfect. the highest shot I've hit Perfect. so far. And, the sand, and that was. And so, what is this one? Can I reveal? Yeah. This is a 56 D. A D grind. Okay, so it's, now who is D grind ideally for? Player who likes a little bit more more bounce, but who has the ability to rotate it open. He can toe is removed for 
Bill sits and all those shots. It's been, yeah. I have not around a long time, but I know VJ still uses it. Yeah. From I got it from Lanny. Like to stand, stand it on end and hit through. Beautiful little tip shot, green side. A lot of guys do that. So now the very first one that you showed me. This is what I'm showing. The reason you, we're you on still the track. Think that was, you still think that was my favorite? Or this that is, was the one that probably said, That was your favorite. Now look at this is the story. Yeah. This is, call it the D grind, okay. which is basically the, I call it the son of the, the M grind. Son, the son of the M grind. Son okay. Of the M grind. Okay. So and now, which one did I hit first? Because that seemed okay. to be the one that you liked the best. Yes, this was the best. And this one is was the M grind. M grind. M grind. This is your most favorite grind, yes, if I'm not mistaken. Most, exactly, in my MF grind. Yep. And my foot, but what, what it's got, it's got the, got the heel, trailing edge, and toe removed. It gives you the bill, that's what you were doing. So who, so who is, so shots. M grind is ideal for who? That particular wedge could be used greenside. It's got, it's got the loft, it's good for shallow cut, Closely cut players, even in, in any types of turf, you can use that, that wedge, but you have to be is this very the, good with it. You is, have to use it, you have to hit it. You can't. So you've got to so rotate, you, got, you, you can't got quit on the ball. You can't quit on the ball. How does this type of a wedge and a, and a grind configuration, this is out of turf, yep. how does it work out of bunkers? Is this, this ideal? Is this ideal. also? Very, very good out of bunkers. Okay. It's phenomenal. If I'm somebody who is a real phobia or a fear of bunkers, what's probably going to be the you, best type well, of grind, generally speaking, and, for me? This one, okay. See, this right is here? the K grind. K grind. And it's got, I can just see right, um, a much wider. Sole, yep. Wider sole, which gives you a little bit more resistance to dig it. That's what you want to you wedge do. And the sand, if you got it, it's like a river sand, it's firm, it's shallow, you can get away with a little less bounce. Yep. And you can always use your sand wedge there. But here, if you want to get, if it's tight, you're close to the lip, yep. you want to get it up quicker, that's when the 60 degree will come in. I call it the lobber, will come in. Yep. And this particular 60, you hit very, very well. And it's, but yeah. I, I saw that the M was a little bit tighter. Cool. So, it, so it really comes down to knowing what types of shots that you're gonna try and hit, what type no of course conditions it. you're gonna be playing most often, and then matching up the sole configuration with your yeah, game and your conditions. Matching your particular te technique. Got it. Whether you're upright or whether you're shallow swinger, you know? Yeah, Bob, thanks a lot, pal. My friend.